Hi everyone and welcome to another session of the Open Vehicle Sketchpad Tutorials. My name is Brandon Leatherland of the NASA Langley Aeronautic Systems Analysis Branch. In this video we'll be discussing the blank component and how it's used to control system grouping, point masses, and transformations. I've opened up a Cessna 402 model to demonstrate some of the useful properties of this component. You can see some of these small sets of axes distributed throughout the aircraft and each of those are blanks. You can see here in the geometry browser that each component labeled parent is in fact a blank. Now you can find blank here in the geometry window, clicking blank and add. You can see that while it was highlighted on vertical stabilizer parent, I added the blank and it added it in the step below this component. So that means that it's part of this group. I can go ahead and delete that. So for each of these parents, you can see that the fuselage is part of a group, all of the wing components are part of a group, and the same for the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Now for the groups that have only a single component inside them, you really don't need the blank. However, for things like the wing group, this allows for each of these components to maintain their position relative to one another, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. If we take a closer look at the parent component itself, you can see that there's a general, a transform, and a mass tab associated with it. Now normally you would adjust color and materials, tessellation, and set association for a component inside the general window. However, since a point has no surface to color, we can only really use this tab to adjust the set association. Likewise, the mass tab allows you to adjust the length of the axes associated with the blank so that you can help it point out exactly where everything is. Right now we'll set that back to one. Another thing that you can do is convert the blank into a point mass. So rather than use it as a placeholder for the components within the group, you can make a blank that's just a standalone placement component, turn it into a point mass, and later on when we discuss how to do mass analysis on the vehicle, that will factor into where the center of gravity and how the moments of inertia change for the vehicle. So if you have a point mass and you know the center of gravity of your fuel tanks or some luggage or the pilot, you can place those throughout the vehicle and it will then calculate the moments of inertia, the weight and balance, and the center of gravity informa information for you. For right now, we'll just go ahead and turn that back off. Um, most of what you're going to do with the blank is within the transform tab. You can see that you have uh, X, Y, and Z rotation and translation and you can adjust where the position is along a specific component if it's attached. Um, specifically what we're going to deal with right now is just the translation and rotation to demonstrate how useful this is whenever you're dealing with it as a placeholder. If we look at the wing parent itself, it's attached to the middle of the leading edge of the wing and then the engines and the hubs are set outboard and forward of the parent itself. If we look at the engine component, you can see that it's attached relative to the parent and it's moved a little bit forward and outboard. And it's also given some rotation to match the wing dihedral. So by doing that, we've maintained a nice orientation with the wing. You can see if we go ahead and shade everything, that here in the trailing edge of the wing, the engine nacelles in the wing have this nice smooth transition between one another. And we like to maintain that. So if we go in and actually uh, try and change a few things, and we'll just do from the left side to make this a little bit more apparent to what we're doing. If we wanted to give the wing a little bit of incidence for uh, an actual representation of what it would have, it would have a little bit of incidence so that it has lift during level flight if we change the rotation and do that, you can see that the components associated with the wing don't also rotate. They just stay put because they're not attached to it. So now we have this separation in the back. If we decided that we wanted, okay, a 10 degree rotation, and we tried to do the same thing with the nacelles, you can see that they don't rotate about the same axis, so this actual displacement at the trailing edge is different. So you would have to go in and try and set the uh, rotation center for this component to be hopefully 
in the same place as the wings rotation center and it all becomes very convoluted and very messy so let's just step back a, a little bit and go back to where we were before now if however we decide that we want the entire wing group to rotate that 10 degrees set 10 and you can see that the wing the nacelles and the hub all rotate together about the blank rather than about their own individual centers of rotation so as we come in you can see that we can adjust this slider to demonstrate it a little bit more effectively that each of the components are rotated and also translated as one so you don't lose the relationship of the wing, the engines, and the hubs when you need to just change the position of one or the other. So let's just step that back. We have everything back in place. And if we, sorry, we'll go left isometric and set everything back in place. Now you can see why blanks are so important when you're dealing with group structures like that. If you have say for example a, a built landing gear where you have a wheel and struts and attachments to the fuselage or the wing you can fold that entire structure in and out and rotate it and show its relationship to the rest of the vehicle without having to move each individual little piece so these blinks are actually very very important components when you're dealing with your overall model that's all we're going to discuss for the blank component in this session. Our next video is going to cover the wing. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.